Hello everyone, we have your exponential equation. 4 to the power of x to the power of 18 plus x to the power of 12 equals 262,144 to the power of 4. And in this video, we'll be solving for the real values of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would like to say thank you if you can hit the like button or subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Now let's start solving. So first we focus our attention on the right hand side of the equation. This is an enormous number and uh, if you notice the last two digits taken two digits at a time is divisible by four. So in here then we'll be taking extracting the factors of this number. So how are we going to do that? since this is divisible by 4 so we start dividing by 4 so we'll find out if we can convert as with the base 4 as on the left hand side of the equation all right so let's do that we have here the number so divide by 4 this comes out to 65536 divide by 4 again will come up to 16384 and divide by 4 again will be 4,098 and divide by 4 now we have here 64 divided by 4 it will come up to 16 divide by 4 will become 4 so from here now these are the factors of 262,144 let's count the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so this simply means this is 4 raised to the ninth power so that's the equivalent of 262,144. So going back to our equation, so let's rewrite that again. So the right hand side now is equal to 4 to the power of 9. That's the equivalent of this number. And since we had existing exponent, so that will be multiplied by 4. And the left hand side remains the same. 4 to the power of x to the 18 plus x to the 12. So from here, the equation has the same base on both sides. Now, to equate the exponents. So the exponents must be the same. So from here now, so x to the power of 18 plus x to the power of 12 is equal to this one right here. The exponent, 9 times 4, that is 36. So left term can be written as x to the power of 6 times 3 that's the same as 6 times 3 that's 18 right there and the second term will be x to the power of 6 times 2 in right hand side is 36 so this equation can be written as x to the power of 6 cube plus x to the power of 6 is square is equal to 36 so from here we're introducing a new variable to represent x to the power of 6. So that variable is y is equal to x to the power of 6. So the equation now becomes y cubed plus y squared equals 36. And now the next thing to do is to find for the initial value of y. The way to do that is like guess and check. It's a kind of way of uh, trying to figure out value of y. So that means we're plugging in a number and check if uh, this would be equal to 36. All right, so left hand side would be equal to the right hand side the equation. Let's say if we plug in one, let's say y is equal to one. One cubed plus one, it won't do anything. It won't be 36. If we put in two as value, that's eight. Eight plus four is 12, it won't do anything. So how about y is 3? So 3, 3 cubed, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, 27 plus 9 is 36. So 3 will be okay. So 3 cubed plus 3 squared, and this is 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. So that's the initial value of y, y is equal to 3. Now from here, we transform this equation into a cubic equation by moving the uh, constant 36 to the left side of the equation. So the equation now becomes y cubed plus 
y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. And we have the initial value of y as 3. So, so since this is a cubic equation, so we're going to have three values of y. So we, ha we found the first value, first root. So y is equal to 3. To find the other two, what we have to do is uh, divide by using long division. We divide the, the factor y minus 3 from this expression. We will be dividing this expression with this factor y minus 3. So we have here now y cubed plus y squared minus 36 divided by y minus 3. So we're doing long division. y cubed divided by y minus 3, that is y squared. y squared times y, that's y cubed. y squared times negative 3 is negative 3y squared. And subtract it. This one cancels. This is now 4y squared. And bring down 36. 4y squared divided by y, that is 4y, so that's plus 4y, 4y times y is 4y squared, and this is minus, minus, 4 times 3 is 12y, so that's 12y, then subtract, this now cancels, this is now positive, so this is now 12y minus 36, 12y divided by y, is equal to so 12 so that's plus 12 12 times y is 12 y 12 times 3 is 36 and that's negative so let's subtract this becomes 0 so from here we came up with the other factor that is now y squared plus 4y and then plus 12 now we can equate this into 0. So next is we have to find for the value of y. If you notice, this is now a quadratic equation. Now next step is we have to find if there would be a real root for y. So in that way, what I'm going to do is to find the value of the discriminant. If the discriminant, delta, is greater than 0, then we would have a real value, real root of y. So, and the discriminant is equal to, that is b squared minus 4ac. And if this is less than zero, this means we won't have a real root of y. So let's find that out. Coefficient of the first term is one. So a, a is one, then b is four, and c is 12. So those are the coefficients. So b squared is uh, 4 squared, that's 4 times 4 is 16, minus 4a is 1, times c is 12, so 4 times 12. And this is equal to 16 minus 4 times 12 is 48. So 48 is greater than 16, so this is less than 0. So the discriminant is less than 0, that means there would be no real root of y. So we cannot use that. So all we have just the value of y as 3 from earlier. That is from here. So now we'll find for the value of x since y is just a substituted variable in place of y. Just recall that we have here the value of y is x to the power of 6. So we have here now, so from here x to the power of 6 is equal to 3. To find for the value of x, we have to get the reciprocal raised to the power of the reciprocal of the exponent. So that is raised to 1, 6. So this is now x to the power of 6 divided by 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 6. So x then is equal to 6 divided by 6. That is so 1. So x to the power of 1 or x is equal to this can be written the same way as the sixth root of 3. Since this root is even number, so this means this is positive and negative. Sixth root of 3. So that is our final answer. And x can be written also as positive and negative 3 to the power of 1 over 6. So these are the answers. It's the same.
All right. So this is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Bye.